This will change your life. What is up my winning friend? My name is Zach and welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to share with you how to create absolute certainty in yourself. And we're getting started right now. I don't think that there's ever been a time where I was uncertain of myself that I pulled through and made it happen. Um, I just don't remember any. And then on the other hand, I don't think there's a time where I was completely certain of myself. Not sure that I was going to do it or confident, but completely certain that I was going to pull through and make it happen that I didn't make it happen. Now, there, of course, there might be an exception. I just don't remember any. Anytime that I've ever been certain about something, I've always found a way to pull through and make it happen. And real quick before we dive into these tips on how to create that absolute certainty within yourself, if you want to crush your goals and dominate your life, you want some extra tools that are going to help you do that, head on over and download my free Goal Getter Cheat Sheet. You can do so right there. All right, so Bill Gates is no like genius that got lucky, all right? He is someone that was certain of himself. He put himself on the line when he didn't have any reference legs to back up his beliefs to make something happen and that's how Microsoft came about. And if you haven't watched my video about beliefs and reference legs, make sure you check it out right here. A company was developing a personal computer and needed basic software and Bill Gates called up this company and promised to deliver even though there was no such thing as this basic software at the time. His, his ability to create that sense of certainty was his real genius. There was, there was many people that were just as smart as him, if not even smarter. But he went on to create this basic software, which led to him to become a billionaire by the time he was 30 years old. Certainty breeds power. You ever heard of the story about the four minute mile? For so long, it was ingrained, it was a belief, that a limiting belief that people had that no human could run a mile under four minutes. Yet Roger Bannister in 1954 broke the four minute mile marker. And by doing so, he created a belief, a new belief, enough reference, a reference leg for other people and 37 other runners went on to break the four minute mile just a year later. After years of people believing that it was impossible. That is how powerful certainty is. I mean, history books are full of people who were certain of themselves, even though at the time they were doing something that was probably unheard of and they changed the world forever because they were certain in their beliefs and they're certain in themselves. So my three tips for developing certainty are one, gather enough reference legs. And what I mean by that, you gotta have enough reference legs to hold up that belief. You know, an idea is just an idea, it's a tabletop and it doesn't have any legs. But if you get the reference legs of past experiences that can hold the table up, you have some legs to stand on. So gather experiences of your own from the past of beliefs or gather them from other people like Roger Bannister when he broke the four minute mile, now I can run it too. Or gather it from books, um, from, from podcasts, from audio, whatever you gather from, gather those reference legs that way you can create this sense of uh, certainty. Second is burn the ships. Nothing creates a sense of certainty than burning the ships. And uh, what I mean by that, there is this uh, historic story, it's one of my favorites of all time, where Caesar went into uh, an unknown land, or uh, an enemy land, an enemy territory, and they went to go face a foe that was greatly larger than them. They were completely outnumbered in, in enemy territory. And when they got to the enemy territory, he unloaded all of his troops and then he commanded his lieutenants to go burn the ships down. And as the ships were going up in smoke, he uh, ordered all of his soldiers and said, you see that? The only way we leave this island is if we win or we perish. That's some ballsy kind of uh, certainty right there. But when you burn the ships, when you burn any sources of retreat, you you got to make it happen. It's either this or nothing. It's all in. And when you create that sense of, of urgency and that sense of certainty, it's powerful. And finally, you have to make whatever it is that you're, the, whatever undertaking that it is, you have to make it a, I must instead of I should. It's I must do this, not I should. 
you gotta link pain and pleasure appropriately. Link enough pain to not taking this action and to not making it happen and link enough pleasure to taking the action now and to, and to making it happen. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna watch more videos that are gonna help you become more certain of yourself and help you crush your goals and dominate life, then make sure you check out this playlist right there. And if you know anyone that just, they don't really seem certain of themselves, they're, um, have a, they're just not confident in, themselves, in their actions and stuff, please share this video with them. You never know what this video can do for a person at the right time. And share it on your favorite social media websites, Facebook, all that. Let's reach more people with this message and help more people win. Because that's what we're all about right here. And as always, if you want to crush your goals and dominate life, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Tap the bell notifications. That way you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching, my winning friend. I will see you next time.